Hi there, I'm Java Jim with First Line Equipment and welcome today to our video regarding doser versus doserless coffee grinders. We are going to go over the advantages and disadvantages of the doser grinders, which you see here on the two Mazer Minis in red and white, and then the doserless coffee grinders that you see here on the Electra and the First Line Sunny. As you can see on the doser, we have containers on the front. On the doserless, we have chutes on the front. So now we're going to get started and basically go over the advantages and disadvantages of each. So here we have the Mazer Mini uh, Commercial Espresso Coffee Grinder in white with the doser. It is a cleaner operation uh, because when you're dosing the coffee and you're pulling the lever, there's a sweeper moving inside and it usually falls straight down. Now, if you pull the sweeper too fast, it will shoot sideways. So it's pretty important to pull it uh, gradually and have the coffee dose uh, into here. If you have any excess ground coffee, you can take it and then wipe it off the top and get it back into the doser and reuse it very quickly. Now, the one thing about the ground espresso coffee, our general rule of thumb, it's good for about seven minutes. Uh, so the workaround on a doser is if you're not gonna grind, if you're grinding for one shot, you can actually time it or put enough beans in the bean hopper and just grind everything out uh, into the doser and then doser everything out. Now the doser is really good for actually high, high volume shops or for entertaining because while this portafilter is uh, being brought here uh, to under the doser, it's, it's losing heat uh, minimally because you, the coffee's already ground. It's also the coffee grinder is working, grinding fresh, uh, freshly ground coffee while you're actually making espresso. So entertaining, high, high volume coffee shops. Uh, you can have some residuals uh, left in here that can go to waste, but at the same time, if you're making back to back, you can wipe off the excess and reuse that very, very quickly. On the doserless grinder here on the First Line Sunny grinder, you can grind for what you need uh, and basically with a, a manual grinder where you turn it on and off by depressing the button here. You can grind basically what you need and you'll have uh, less waste. The problem is if you over grind too much coffee, uh, you can have more waste and there's no place to basically, unless you want to put it in a container uh, and then reuse that as well. Now, the other issue that I've seen is that uh, doserless grinders can get more static and you'll have more spray uh, of the grind uh, outside the portafilter. Uh, the other thing is uh, on doserless, you will typically have these forks in the way. So it may be difficult to get a container if you're grinding for other brew methods to get a container in here and basically grind the coffee that you need. So. Uh, a lot of times the forks are not removable because they're bolted on the inside. So you'll need to kind of jury rig a container under the spout uh, in these cases. Um, so that's the other thing to look at. And of course with um, doser, you can't even do that with the forks here as well. You can't grind into a container, but you have the container that's above and you can dose it out. Well, we hope you enjoyed our video today regarding doser versus doserless on espresso coffee grinders. We hope you learned the advantages and disadvantages of both and where it would be applicable to your setting and your usage uh, using high quality doser and doserless coffee grinders. Give us a thumbs up down below if you can. Any questions or comments, also ask down below or visit our website on any of the products here or anything that we sell, we do have a Q&A tab, uh, which you can ask specific questions to the specific products. And once again, thank you for watching. Coffee first, everything else afterwards. Have a great day.